Hey, you big and fiery hello to you guys. My name is Denis Kolestikov, well known as Kurash Bombay. And right from here, from the Ruski Islands in Vladivostok, we're going to start our incredible journey called This is Russia. I have three mates here with me. Sergey. Vova. And Boris. And all together we will go through 10,000 kilometers, 8 time zones and almost 30 cities and towns. Follow our journey here on YouTube channel called Kuraj Bambi. This is all Russia! Boris, come out for a walk in Vladivostok! And the door opens! The hookah. Ace, why do we need hookah, Boris? What do you mean, why? In a word, we are starting the journey. Four men are going to stay in one car for 30 days. Okay, let's go. Pack this stuff. Kurumuch Airport, named after Sergei Pavlovich Korolev, Samara, flying in a wink. Hey, we are now on the roof of our general partner Dodo Pizza's headquarters in Moscow. Can't say that our journey starts right from here, but this is a point we couldn't miss because it's vastly interesting to look at the workflow in not just a pizzeria, but in its headquarters. Finally got here, now we are going to the Dodo Pizza's headquarters. Be ready, I'm ready. Dodo Pizza was founded in Siktivkar, Komi Republic. This is in the north. The first pizzeria was also opened there. This is the heart of our office. This is the R&D lab, where guys test new ingredients, new equipment and create new recipes. They cook the product and behind the black door there's a photo lab where we create content for social networks, websites, apps and booklets for all countries. Do you really throw it all away? Yes. Boris hasn't had breakfast today. We don't have to try that because that's an experiment. We have already tried everything. So guys just physically can pitch it into themselves. We found partners for you guys. We can eat whatever it is. This is the photo lab. This is all without processing, right? Just took a peek with the lights and that's it. Yeah, there it is, a sandwich. The nice one. Thank you guys, have a good day. When we have a new pizzeria opened in our chain, we turn on the music in the office and announce that we have 620 pizzerias in our chain. On our map we have our hometown of Siktivkar, Mauritius Islands, where the Dota Birds. The Dota Bird is a character of uh, the Alice in Wonderland book, so we have decorated our office in Alice in Wonderland style. Let's go! The coffee lab, here we have the window to Siktivkar, 
This is us. This is the office in Sikhtiv Car. This is the office in Omega. Hello, Vanya Kirichuk. Wave and you will get in the chat. You will be broadcasted by the BBC. The main metric screen of our information system, here we can monitor the number of orders per minute in the whole country and bugs in landing pages. The engineering team monitors all the indicators, and the place where pizza is cooked is a huge tip with all pizza recipes. When a new employee comes, he is taught and memorizes everything, then he learns recipes and starts cooking pizzas from memory. <laughs> well, they are a creative team. Okay, guys, I think you all are interested in camera gear that we took with us. Panasonic GH5, batteries to action cameras, Sony 300R with uh, screens like this, a monopod, a tripod, a car cigarette lighter splitter, a GSM rotor, radio clip mics, aperture panel. No doubt we took our Mavic Pro 2. Kind of like this. In case we are lack something, hopefully we will be able to rent it in a big cities like Novosibirsk. But actually it seems we are packed to shoot a serious project. This is Russia! So, here we are in Vladivostok. Let's begin! The view is splendid, we are satisfied, but the way wasn't simple. Now we have to take a nap, an hour or two, and then we have an excursion through the Far Eastern University. These are all administrative buildings. The rector's office is on the ninth floor. There we also have our own television studio. About 36,000 people live and work here on the campus. Those first five staircase-like buildings are accommodation buildings, so travelers can also live here. They are all neat. Uh, they have them renovated every year. Yeah, the feature is that here are the best conditions in the campus in the whole Russia. Yeah, here you can both go for a walk or for a swim. Is that your own beach right there? Yes, and now you can get there only with the pass, so students from other cities and countries who live here have a luxurious life. They collect oysters and sea urchins after the storm and then bake them in their apartments. Do you know if there is a place like this somewhere in the country? No, it's the biggest and most modern campus in Russia. So this is a Ruski island, Vladivostok city, far eastern federal Primorsky, isn't it? University, Primorsky, Amur, Siberian Tigerish, Shrimpish. Ekaterina, Ekaterina. Ah, uh, that's too much. What falls live here? We collected about 25 jars at first, because the first concept, the first graphic task was a bit different, so we collected 25 jars. Then, Natalia Arkadyevna said, guys, there are 150 more jars in my balcony, 153 as we counted later. And my colleague will tell you what it actually means, because she did the final step of this installation. This is the installation of Moscow architect Pizza Vinogro. 
proud of and his team. It was built for the technological art festival Pusk. The art object is called Data Jars. We are going through the whole country from Vladivostok to Moscow by car. And we ask people in every city three questions. Why do you love Vladivostok? Just turn back. I love it because of the sea. Sea, hills, Japanese cars. I like positive and kind people here, the atmosphere itself and the city is beautiful. You can get a kick out of it, right? The nature here is really fascinating, this river, this bridge, and uh, I do like the architecture, the salt smell in the air, and many sights. And does Vladivostok have any negatives? The first summer half is always rainy and foggy. Hard traffic, it's extremely hard for newcomers to move around for at least uh, two weeks. Traffic jams, nothing negative, everything is okay. It's remote location, that's the only thing, right? Yes? If you had an opportunity to choose any city or town in Russia to go to, which city would it be? I really like it here, I don't want to go anywhere. The Caucasus, where exactly? To the mountains. Sochi or somewhere near it, because it's really warm there. Gilinjik? Oh, I would choose Gilinjik too. Maybe Kamchatka, St. Petersburg. We have so many good places here that we don't have to go somewhere. Kazan, there is a church of the flying spaghetti monster. Kachapuri was created in a Georgian city full of sailors. Their wives were really missing them and decided to make a dish that caps all their love and care for their husbands. And they invented a German Hachapuri. In your case, it is an Admiral Hachapuri. I think Hachapuri's shape is clear to everyone. It symbolizes the shape of the boat. I always say to everyone at events and forums, please come to me for a visit. I'll give you crabs, caviar, nobody calls and nobody comes. Since 2012, Vladivostok has become a serious business center. It has the character of a serious city. It was founded by entrepreneurs and military men, and it has generally remained like this. About 90% of cars are Japanese right-hand drive. I have visited 100 countries all around the world, and it's the first time I saw in one of Russian regions a restaurant that has a real queue at the entrance. How did you manage? to create such a restaurant that people want to get into? There are many answers to this question, and the first is the dream. When I was building this restaurant, I was in Korea at the moment, and I went to the place with many identical restaurants, and only one of them had a queue at the entrance. I asked them why they were standing there, and people said, it seems that there's tasty food in this restaurant. When I came back, we decided not to book places. Booking makes tables, turnover limited, because there are poses, because of unpunctuality of Russian people. I had managed a big restaurant before. It was a place for about 500 seats and I thought that this place would not make any money and that anyhow we had to increase the turnover. It was also the reason for making the queue. We buy products of really high quality and the average bill is about 1,100 rubles. People can afford that, so they come here with pleasure.
Denise, wait! Denise! Water is rising! Stop it! Come back! Don't do that! Stop it!